Okay, let's talk about cleaning up our universal audio plugins. Okay, so today is going to be quick. It's going to be a shorty video. There's not a lot of actual content here, but this is going to save you a ton of time. So I just ran this. It's called UAD Plugin Mate. It's a, a program that helps you clean up your universal audio plugins. So this was shared with me by one of my Patreons on the Patreon Discord server. So thank you so much to the person that shared this. And if you want to come join us on the Discord server, you can check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. But with that said, it was super easy to run. Um, if you're familiar with the Universal Audio software, you download and install it as a bundle. And then what happens is you have a million plugins installed that you may or may not necessarily own, and it can be very, very annoying. And it's to the point where, for me, I have some Universal Audio plugins, but I never use them because I don't remember which ones I have. So hopefully this will change that. So I will put a link to this in the description below for you all so you can go find the right installer for your system and run it yourself if you want. But it was really easy. Basically, you go, you click their link, and it downloads the install. So it's just a zip. Um, I'm going to cancel this because I already did it. But here it is. You just unzip it and then you run it. And it's really simple to use. The most complicated thing that you have to do is you have to export your system profile from your control panel. So basically, you go down here to the UAD meter and control panel. Um, that's different from your console. So just keep that in mind. So you click to open up this little window, right? Very different from the console window, which is this one. So don't get confused, right? But all you have to do, I swear this is the most complicated part, is you click here and then you go system info and then you click save detailed system profile. I'm not going to do it right now because I already have one on my desktop, but it's it's that simple. It's that easy. I'm going to hit cancel here. Once you have that saved, you should have that on your desktop. So let me minimize this. So here it is right here. It's just a text readout and it has info, a bunch of different info, including what plugins you own and which ones you do not own, right? So here, a lot of mine are demo not started, right? Um, I have some that are authorized, much fewer that are authorized than, than the ones that I do not own. But that's all you have to do. You have to save out that system profile and then you just go to that uh, piece of software that we downloaded and you open it and it asks if you want to use that text file and you hit yes. And you know, if it doesn't automatically ask you to load up that system profile, you can do it right here by just clicking the load button and finding it within the, the little finder pop-up window that, that appears. And then all you have to do is click clean up plugins and it's super quick. So you just wanna hit yes and bam, it's done. That's how fast it was for me the first time it ran it too, even though it had to clean up a whole bunch of different uh, plugins. And that's it, super quick, super simple, super easy. I think. The first time I ran it, it did ask me about creating this folder, and that was the only additional thing that that it did. That was the only thing that took any extra time was asking about that folder, and that was super quick too. So I can't believe that I procrastinated doing this for so long, and so I wanted to share it so you all know that you can do this too, and you don't have to struggle through that huge list of universal audio plugins and... Um, wonder which ones you own, like I've been doing. If, if you're doing that, I don't know. Maybe not everyone does that, but I wonder. And it was driving me crazy to the point where I just wasn't using those plugins. So so yeah, and now when I open Pro Tools, that list is a lot shorter and it's all plugins that I own and I love it. And the only thing to keep in mind is if you buy new plugins from them, you then have to go and export a new system profile and then um, load up the system profile and clean up the plugins again. But that's quick and easy. So I would keep this uh, software on your computer so you can run it again if you ever want to get a new plugin. And that's it. The only other thing I wanted to mention is actually on this forum post. Um, they do have extra directions and stuff. So check this out. Follow the link. Follow the directions. But other than that, it's really easy. I just wanted to share it with you all because I got pretty excited about it. So that's it for today. Uh, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I have a Patreon, so it's patreon.com slash Noise, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, come hang out if you feel so inclined. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. Cool. Okay. I can't believe I procrastinated that so long. <sighs> Well, next time I won't procrastinate it, that's for sure.